Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. I'm here with Curtis from My Designs, and uh, Curtis, man, how you doing? I'm doing good, man. It's good to be back on. Yeah, happy Friday, man. I'm I'm loving My Designs lately. I've been using it like all the time. Uh, me and Marielle, we split this new Etsy shop that we started, so she's helping get designs together in like various specific niches. I'm doing other niches. The process before My Designs was so convoluted. I'm not like complaining about it because it was heavy automation, but I was using like probably four or five different services for different things. And then I had to still bring everything together manually. I no longer need to do that for my Etsy shop because of my designs. So thank you for putting this together, man. Yeah, absolutely, man. Uh, we've been at it for two years. So hopefully things two are years? starting to be polished. Yeah, <laughs> we've been building it for two years now at this point and things are starting to get polished and we got a lot of the infrastructure that we wanted in place that's now there. So it's starting to get really smooth and starting to get exciting, to be honest. Dude, I'm I'm loving it, man, and it's like running so fast. You were telling me before we yeah. before we started started recording that like the mo the mockup generator specifically runs incredibly fast. Yeah, I think I think at this point right now we can generate a hundred mockups in about 20, 30 seconds. So if you're doing bulk mockup production, you can yeah select all your listings, generate mockups. You know, at some point you generate five or six hundred of them in less than five minutes. So it's pretty powerful. Yeah. And anybody who's just tuning in, like, let's kind of go through this in a linear sequence so that we're not kind of fragmented for, for the people that are watching. And you guys that are subscribed, you probably have heard me talk about my designs. I I'm sure you have actually, because I've referenced it quite a bit. Uh, but it is basically like from my perspective, then you can kind of piggyback, Curtis. Um, it's, it's all in one software for print on demand sellers and it's cloud based, right? Yeah. So instead of having like, 50 folders on my computer with different designs in each one. Or if you're like Marielle, you have a really, you know, dirty desktop on your computer. <laughs> I'm, I'm always like, clean up your desktop, clean up your desktop. <laughs> my designs, it's like drag, drop, organized. And within that folder in the cloud now, right? So it's backed up also. I love having backups. Uh, I can do all of my like, like SEO, you know, title description, bullets, optimization, create mockups. And I was pushing them as digital files to sell as digital downloads yeah. before. Now I'm able to push them as print on demand products. Yeah, that's right. We uh, we released the print on demand infrastructure about a month and a half ago. With print for is our first print provider. And now we have Swift POD um, added as a second print provider, which is really popular among a lot of top sellers. So we're really excited to get that done. And with the two, we have 13 clothing based products that you can choose from, um, you know, with many more coming because we have a huge catalog from Swift that we need to onboard. So we eventually get to that, such as mugs and a lot of other clothing options the baby onesies and things like that they are really popular. But uh, yeah, so the print on demand stuff's done and it's uh, it's it's really unique because if you use like print for Printify, you know, you have to publish one product at a time. So you upload your design, you go through that the whole the entire process of selecting the product, the colors, the variants, pricing, mockups, and then publish and then go repeat that process. So my designs, this is one thing I like to always bring up is you can drop, let's say a hundred designs into your collection in the cloud. And we I've done this. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Since you yeah, told me I could do a hundred, I literally went and did like a hundred. <laughs> yeah. If you're on the, if you're on the top subscription of ours, you can do a, up to 120, you can publish up to 120 products at a time. So you drop all the designs into a collection. You can edit the data in bulk, generate mockups in bulk, and then go through the publishing process one time instead of, you know, 120 different times. So really it saves you, you know, that takes five, 10 minutes to publish 120 products versus doing that manually. It's going to take, you know, eight hours, maybe more. Dude, it's, it's incredible, man. Um, like recently, and I can literally just very quickly show my whole, or not show, but like kind of just talk it through it. It's like, I'll drag and drop. Well, I'll, you call them collections. So I'll yeah. click new collection and then I name it. So I was just thinking of an example. It could be like fruits, right? Yeah. Like Marielle has got me on this ridiculous uh, <laughs> tangent where we've been going to this website called Miami fruits, I think.com. And it's like all these rare exotic fruits that are incredibly expensive, but she loves like, you know, we record, we have our little side channel on YouTube that we have fun with. So we're, we're like recording reviews of these expensive ass fruits. We just, we have some downstairs that smell absolutely awful called cheese fruit, by the way. I would not recommend that. <laughs> we have to basically like review throw them it. and throw them out because they smell so bad. <laughs> so it could be cheese or it could be fruit um, themed designs, right? Like whatever yeah. the fruits are. I, I'll drag and drop, let's just say 20 of these designs. I click the upload button. They upload in 30 seconds to one minute. Then I go, the first thing I do is I set a, very. well, yeah, you have these templates, right? Yeah. The templates literally have the fields we need to publish these for sale. So it's like title, tags, description. Uh, the other ones that I use a lot are like primary keyword, secondary keyword. So then the next thing I'll do is I'll select all 20 and I'll say edit in bulk 
and I'll say, please read the file name and store it in the primary variable field. And I will strategically name my files. Yeah. Like if it's the blue, a blueberry, I'll call it blueberry. If it's strawberry, I'll call it strawberry.png, right? And I just keep doing that for each file. What my designs then does, writes it into that primary variable field. And then I can use that variable. And when I'm writing like the titles out in bulk, 20 titles at a time, I can say primary variable space shirt, primary yeah. variable lover gift, primary, you know what I'm saying? So blueberry shirt, blueberry lover gift, and it's doing it 20 at a time. It's so beautiful, man. Then I feed it into your tag generator, which is incredible also. Uh, it can go fetch tags from Redbubble. If we're doing Etsy though, obviously like we need 13 tags. We need 20 characters max. Yeah. So I love to actually, numbers. yeah, that was brilliant, dude, that you can switch the um, place where the tag generator goes and switch it to uh, the actual platform. So I can switch it to Etsy and then say, generate me 13 tags. I know it's going to be 20 characters. Yeah. Uh, go, you mm -hmm. know. And, and we do have more updates coming for the tag generator too. It should continue to get better. Um, but yeah, that's a really popular feature of ours as well. Generating tags in bulk for, you know, 100 listings. Takes yeah, a lot dude, that's <laughs> that's crazy, man. I'm loving it. And from there, it's like, you know, I'll write it. I actually have just a kind of a copy paste generic description uh, that I use for shirts and then I might switch it up for other product types. And then I just go into the mockup generator. So select all go to edit mockups or mockup generator. And then I just, you know, go to clothing from the drop down. And within the clothing section, there's shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, tank tops, man. And there's a bunch of them. Right. And are, by the way, are all these going to be free forever? Or how is that going to work? With the uh, the print on demand products, the the mockups like generating mockups. Mock so we're gonna have a huge library of free mockups. Like right now, I believe we have two hundred and something mockups. Um, you know, cool. it's from wall art to clothing to stickers, etc. Um, we are gonna also add in premium mockups. And with those premium mockups, if you have any of the subscriptions, you'll have access to premium mockups, really high quality mockups. Again, that you can use in bulk. But we'll have like size charts and color charts and different things too. That uh, that I think when people see it, it's gonna really blow their minds. Because it's it's pretty, you know, it's these type of processes that if you do manually, it just takes so much time. And that's the, that's what we want to do at My Design, just kind of automate all those processes, yet give you the quality mockups, the size charts, and everything you need to build a great listing on Etsy or Shopify or Amazon in the future. Dude, and you guys are already doing that. So it's amazing. Yeah. So after I get my mockups generated, I think at this point, unless I'm forgetting something, we did the tags, wrote the description, the title. Um, I might actually set the the secondary keyword variable. To the product type because uh as you know we're heading into q4 so yeah i'm not just publishing to t-shirts anymore it's gonna be cold outside plus i got marielle helping me with the shop she's like dude you you haven't been listing uh crew neck sweatshirts man they're they're super popular and when i did uh my first video with cassie johnson she was the one telling me too that she's been crushing it with uh you know i i don't know do i call them crew necks do i just call them sweatshirts do I, I don't know what to call yeah, them. yeah. crew neck sweatshirt but people have been crushing it with those so i'm uploading to those at a minimum now too and I've already been making some sales, by the way, through my designs with the, I had some with the Printforia fulfillment, but I've really enjoyed the um, Swift POD just because I was already using them for Printify. Yeah. So that was kind of an easy no brainer that, you know, if I'm using them here and it's working, they're, they're, they're either the highest rated on Printify or they're up there as like one of them. Yeah. I think they're the, I think they're in the top three. Um, I, I just know just with my discussions with other top sellers, they love Swift POD. So really they're stable, reliable platform. And they're good. They're good at fulfillment. They never really run into inventory issues, which is a big deal with print on demand. So we're really excited to have that integration finally done at my designs. Yeah, that was huge. Like you, you gave me a little bit of a warning it was coming. So I actually held off on publishing yeah. for a couple of days and just kind of let them pile up. And then as soon as Swift POD went live, um, just published a bunch right away. Um, so yeah. So then the next thing I do is I collect my, I select my twenty uh, fruit designs. They got all the you know optimizations needed for from a search engine optimization perspective. They've got the mockups. Let's say I generated I don't know four mockups. Then I go you know publish and then I click products. So that's what's cool that didn't used to be there prior to about a month and a half ago. Yeah. And you know from there it's like select your Etsy shop. You support more, multiple Etsy shops, right? Yeah. So on the uh, you know if you have any of the subscriptions, I think the base subscription is three shops. Mm -hmm. um, the the biggest subscription there's unlimited shops. So yeah, you can manage you know multiple shops from one My Designs account which is really powerful. So you can yeah, just choose the shop you want to publish to. That's the same process all the way through. You just choose it on the publishing and during the publishing process. Dude, that's awesome, man. I'm, I'm only doing one shop right now. People have asked me if they should do like niche shops. I always pictured it being a headache, but you know, it's probably not as much of a headache as I thought if you have my designs, because it's literally like click yeah. publish, there's a drop down. just click the drop down and select your other shop. I mean, <laughs> pretty yeah, simple. Yeah, exactly. Make it really easy. Um, yeah, we want to do the same thing with Shopify too. And Ultimately, Amazon. 
yeah, so you have a huge scope of what you're going to eventually accomplish with the software. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we're just getting started. Like the infrastructure is so big. It's such a big project, but it's uh, it's been polished up and we're getting ready to officially launch later this month. And uh, from there, we'll just continue to roll out new features, um, new mockups and like other things we discussed earlier, size charts, and eventually the ability for you as a user to upload your own mockups, which has been highly requested. So that's a PSD file or an SVG and then use it in bulk with our mockup generators. Yeah, so that's, that's, that's going to be a big feature. That's so cool, man. Like what you guys have got going on, just like just any of these features alone are like killer. They're so useful, but then you've combined them all and you're not even officially launched yet. You said you're going to go, um, you're yeah. aiming for what, late so September? We're, yeah, we're looking to launch September uh, 22nd, which is a Thursday. It's about two weeks from now. So we're, uh, nice, we're, get, we're polishing everything off. There's so many updates rolling out every single day right now. So just getting ready for that. Dude, that's going to be crazy. Uh, I can't wait though. And then is there anything anybody should be worried about? Like, I know you still have the free accounts as an option. Is that going away after you, no. got, you guys launch? No, the free accounts will always be there. So the free accounts are great because you can come into my designs. You can upload your own designs. You can actually just use the product, get a feel for it, learn it. Cause it's pretty complex. It's, you'll definitely want to learn it because it's so powerful once you do. Um, and then when you're ready, you just upgrade to a paid subscription. It brings a lot more value and allows you to do more in bulk, like process more mockups in bulk, publish more products in bulk, et cetera. And then, of course, more cloud storage space and different features you have access to. But the, the free account is so powerful. I mean, rather you're selling digital products or print-on-demand products, you can start the free account, get a hang, hang of things, start making some sales, and then upgrade when you're ready. So that's the idea yeah. we have. We'll keep it free for as long as we possibly can. Yeah, it's awesome, man. And uh, if you guys are like watching this video, and I know we've not done too much visual stuff. like We're not doing any screen shares. I may edit in some overlays into this video before publishing, but like... If you would like us to maybe do another like future video, potentially, I don't know, live, we could maybe. Um, let yeah. us know though in the comments and like we could maybe do more of like a tutorial where, uh, you know, we could really get into your minds, um, the users, you know, I'm, I mean, I'm a user uh, and I mean, Curtis have a direct line of communication. So I'm like, Curtis, can you do this? And like a week later, it's done. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do have the community side too. I'm actually glad you brought that up because we, we really value the feedback of our users. There's a lot of different people that, sell different products and in different spaces and they have all these ideas and suggestions that are amazing and like the way we build our infrastructure is like we can actually roll out new updates and features that can accommodate a lot of these suggestions and this feedback so and we can do it quickly so if you ever have any suggestions we have a community side to my designs that we would love to hear we'd love to hear your feedback and suggestions yeah and you guys have a amazing developer team too like it's a yeah. testament a testament to them that you guys get this stuff turned around and you're doing it in a way that at least from my perspective, you know, ex web developer, like it's very intuitive. Like your UI is, is really nice. And it's not like there's some hidden controls that you have to like find, you know what I mean? After five minutes of looking, but it's all pretty much where we need it, you know? Yeah. And again, I, I like to look at my designs kind of like if you were to start with Adobe Photoshop, it's like, it's such a powerful like software that you kind of need to learn it. And we're, we're simplifying things and trying to make it as easy as possible to get started, to jump in and just be able to take advantage of it right away. Now it's not as complex as Adobe Photoshop. You know, it's it's a lot simpler than that, but there's so many different features you can use. So I recommend watching all the training videos. We have many more coming, reading the content, asking questions, because once you learn it, you probably won't go anywhere else. It's really powerful. It's going to save you a lot of time. You're going to be able to produce you know, products in bulk. Uh, just basically get rid of all these time consuming tasks that you currently do that you don't need to and plug them right to your workflow and automate it and publish them, have fulfillment taken care of, et cetera. So that's what we're doing. Yeah. Yeah, I'll link to your just your uh, YouTube channel in the description too with all the tutorial videos and like anybody watching that hasn't tried because it's like I know everybody knows you can relate. It can be scary learning something new. Yeah. You know, it might be like oh it's Friday. I'm not I'm not trying to do that on a Friday. Like I'll just do what I'm comfortable with. But I will just say honest. I'm just keeping it real. Like if you're gonna push, let's say maximum, or yeah, like probably like four products manually, like four products manually. Yeah. In the time it takes you to do four you could probably learn how to use my designs. And like I said, it's sure. laid out very intuitively. It's like, oh, I don't know how to upload. There's a button that says upload, click, click that, drag, drop your files, right? Yeah. It's like, it's pretty much what we described. It's not that hard. So um, and there's great tutorials on the YouTube channel. So I would challenge you guys to dive in there, create a free account, mess around. It's, you're going to really like it. And, you know, to finish my kind of walkthrough that I was doing verbally, it's like, I just click publish to Etsy. I, you know, go next, select the product type, select the t-shirt, you know, colors or whatever, click publish. Uh, you know, it gives you one last step to review everything, make sure that everything looks good. Click publish from there. It's published as, or it's not published. It's a draft. So I find yeah. them in my drafts folder. 
I love that Etsy has great bulk control. So I can do a quick select all in Etsy on all my drafts. I can set the um, production partner to, you know, either my designs or, you know, if you want to set it to Swift POD, whatever. Uh, you can then set the renewal to automatic, do this all in bulk, change the section to, you know, whatever t-shirts and then bulk publish and then it's done. <laughs> it's yeah. beautiful. Exactly. And even for mockups, right, or for products, like if you were to go and do the, each of those process, create all the mockups manually for one of those products, and then do it again, 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 then go into Etsy and uploading those, rearranging them, adjusting your pricing, your variance, just it just adds up the time. It shouldn't. It doesn't need to. Yeah, absolutely, man. Plus, I mean, there's the also the your mockups actually look really good, so there's that a, uh, aspect too, right? <laughs> that counts yeah. for a lot. <laughs> and we and we do have a lot more mockups coming. We have a huge list of, um, our got our designers on right now, so can't wait to get those out. So now that we're going to get ready to launch, we're going to really start pushing the mock-up side because that's probably one of the most important parts to a listing, standing out. So we're taking that very seriously and building as many beautiful mock-ups as we possibly can. I'm looking forward to it, man. So um, anything else you want to cover? Because we've gone 15 minutes. I think you know we've covered a lot of basically how I've been using the software recently, and uh, I've been successful. I was telling you about my sales earlier, uh, and it's you know it's just the beginning. So yeah, yeah, I agree. You know, I'm, and I'm. I'm usually just building the product, but I try to test as much as possible and use it as a user would. And, you know, I'm already bringing in a lot of sales, a lot of digital sales, a lot of print on demand sales. And I barely started with a couple batch uploads. And it's, it's just really cool to see it kind of coming all together. And I'm excited to hear the, the feedback and suggestions from our users and the things they love about my designs. But I highly recommend you go try it out. It's free. So start start with a free account and go from there. I, I can I can highly recommend it. And I doubt you will regret <laughs> learning my designs. Yeah, no, you will not regret it because the amount of time it's going to save you and the quality of your listings that you're going to be able to create very quickly in bulk. I mean, it's a no brainer. So guys, links in the description, start a free account still in beta. Um, they love hearing your feedback, which is normally people say that. And it's like, oh, you, you, should I really give it, you know, is it just going to go in some black hole? But y'all actually like respond and like take it into account. So that's really great. Um, Curtis, man, thank you for being here. I appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for having me again, Ryan. I appreciate it. And, and I'll talk to you soon. Thank <laughs> you.